Hey game programmers, check this out. This is the best. This only takes about 10, 12 lines of code. It is gravity in your space game. So this is video four in a little space game tutorial series. Uh, we've got some firing. We've got some motion going. And now we've got a little bit of gravity here. So how can we get gravity to actually work? Well, let's go check it out. This is going to be with one planet object. And then in the next video, we'll just expand it to as many as you want in your game. So you can have like black holes and planets and asteroids, and they all apply gravity. So here we go. What I've done is, in the player step event, continuing from what we had before, is I've just added a little step event code for gravity. Now keep in mind here, I have a planet object. It's O planet, and I only have one in the room. So here we go. I make three variables, planet distance, planet direction, and gravity pull, okay? And this other one here, I guess I made four variables, one called factor, and you're gonna see what the factor's for in a bit. It really relates to how strong you want your gravity to be. Now, I know it seems like a big number, but you'll see why in a second. So first thing you have to know about gravity, distance matters, right? You're far away from Earth, less gravity pull from it. You're close, way more gravity. So the first thing I wanna do is find the distance from my ship, right, which is me, the player, to the planet's X and Y coordinate. So that gets me the distance with a nice little point distance script. I do a little correction here. Um, if that distance comes out to less than 100, you're gonna see in a minute the equation I use down here, which is basically the real gravity equation for the universe uh, for big objects. If the value gets really small for planet distance, you can actually have the gravity value shoot up really high uh, in this method. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to limit it uh, that if the ship comes within 100, the planet distance can't go below 100, right? So I'm just clamping it to 100 there. Yeah. You can take that out if you want and see what happens, all right? Explore. The next thing I need is I need the direction towards the planet. So I just instead of point distance, this time I do point direction. So x, y towards the planet's x, y. I now know which way towards the planet. Now it's time to calculate the pull factor. Now the pull factor really only depends for this part of the tutorial on the distance to the planet. Um, the equation in real life is really some number, so that's factor, which I've set to 3000. In real life, you know there's some number in the physics books. Times, now check that out. I'm times in one divided by the planet distance times the planet distance. Now, some of you will know that that's basically planet distance squared. And I'm going to throw that in a little later, but I'll leave it like this for now because it's just a bit easier. But the planet distance times the planet distance, one divided by that number. So think about this. As the distance gets bigger, like let's say you have a loud value like 500 pixels away. 500 times 500 is 2,500 or 25,000, whatever. It's a big number. One divided by a big number is going to be a very tiny number, not a lot of gravity. Even after I times it by 3,000, you're not going to get much out of it, okay? But as the distance gets really tiny, like let's say you did have a distance of 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. 1 divided by 4 is 0.25 times a factor of 3,000. Big number, 7,800, right? A lot of gravity pull. So that's basically how this equation works, and it will simulate real gravity really well. I'm showing a debug message here, just so you can see what number is spitting out, right at the bottom of the screen. You want numbers like 0 0.05, 0 0.1, because we're going to be doing exactly this line here after. We're going to add that pull as a bit of motion onto the player. So I say motion add in the direction of the planet, which I calculated up here. I'd like to add planet pull amount. That's why you have to fiddle with that number, and you can also fiddle with this equation to get the right balance for your game. But I'm basically adding that motion onto my player, and since it is pointing towards the planet, it's gonna pull them in. And as the distance gets less and less, this answer is gonna get bigger and bigger. And that's basically gravity. This here is just I'm drawing a gravity arrow on the ship, so that's a uh, just a little extra there, don't worry about that part. It doesn't do anything to the actual player object. But when you get this working, 
like you saw, we have a very nice result. So what you notice here is there's that value I was debugging out. There's the pull. It's a very tiny value. You can see it going up and up and up and up and up. Since I have done that little trick with the planet distance, I do sort of cheat the universe here, and I don't let the gravity go too nuts. And you'll see it pulls me back and forth. And there's my little green gravity arrow, right? So you can fiddle with the numbers to make them do different things. Now, one thing we're going to do here, just uh, to finalize this off, with the one planet version, is you may notice that when you're far away, the gravity almost doesn't play any role. Okay, I can stop the ship. It does pull me, but the value is very tiny, right? And as I get closer, it starts to pull more and more. Some people might want the gravity not to have such a, a steep increase, uh, which basically is the real life increase of gravity. And so one thing you can do in the equation is you can fiddle with it. And I'll show you one part you can change. Instead of doing planet distance times planet distance, an alternative to that line, I'll just put an equivalent line down here, another way to do it in Game Maker, is I could have said divide by the power of planet distance comma 2. Oops, maybe this script is called power. There we go. Put the number and what power you want it to. That's basically this, right? Planet distance times planet distance is power. Planet distance to the power of 2. Okay. What you can do since a square relationship, for those that know their math, can actually pick up quite a bit, right, as the number gets bigger or smaller. So what you can do here is you can actually ease this number down a bit. You can make it a number more like 1.5. Oh, you can even make it like 1.2, 1.3. And you're going to see how this works. The overall effect of this is that this number will not be as big. Because it's not as big, 1 divided by a number that's not as big won't be as small. And because it's not as small, you don't need your factor up so high. So you may have to take down the factor now to a smaller factor. So I'll maybe put 1,000. Now, I'm no math genius on this. You just got to trial and error. When you change the power ratio here, you got to change your factor to make it work for your game. Okay, and that's up to you, right, what you want to see happen. Now, I can already tell here that I've made it too strong. So decreasing that power instead of uh, to the power of 2, taking that down to a power of whatever, whatever, my factor is still way too big, right? So I have way too fast. This may work well for certain games or simulations, right? But what I need to do is just keep fiddling with this power, maybe make it like 200, give it another go. You can see here that in my adjustments, 200 was one-fifth. The gravity now is a bit more manageable. And you'll also notice that when I'm far away, I get a bit more gravity pull, yet it doesn't go nuts when I get too close in. So that's that ratio there you put in the equation, right? Without understanding too much about it, you can still probably work yourself and get a, a nice uh, working gravity system for your little space game. Anyways, that's the end of this one. In the next video, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make it so well. That's great for one planet. I know you probably want to have a black hole, a planet, another planet. What do you do? Well, watch the next video and find out. Multi-planet gravity. Thanks for watching.